This is a response to the story that I did asking, are you the sibling that does not help take care of your parent or parents? Kay Sandra writes, I left New York City for Texas for two years to be sole caregiver for my mom. No one came until two months before she passed. I was there for her last breath. She left me everything, by the way, legally. Okay, Sandra, first of all, rest in peace to your mom, and I am so, so very sorry for your loss. I can only imagine, because thankfully I have both of my parents, and you are such a blessing. It just had to be difficult. I, it was just no way, but thank God you were able to get through it, and I'm so sorry that your siblings were not there for you. You all who are not there for your parents, not only should you be there to help take care of them, but y'all, y'all are missing out on just the good things. I have such a good time with my parents. When I went to my hometown to see them for uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day, y'all, they just cut up. My parents, they're funny. What's crazy is that in their later years, I found more about them now because now they're talking about back in the day and the things they used to do and now finding out all these little gems from them it is so nice when they call i'm gonna answer uh because i always think what if that's the last time they're calling me you just never know what's gonna happen but the let me tell you something it's nothing like walking through the door and seeing your parents light up because it's you who else lights up like that who just so proud and just happy just happy that you are there to see them also an important fact you guys is you have to check in with your parents because a lot of stuff medically you won't know they may not be able to uh, interpret it the way the doctor is saying it or they may not want to tell you and some things they won't tell you over the phone so you need to go home and see your parents you and your siblings need to get together and formulate a plan as to who's going to do what and then if it gets to a point where one of you have to go take, have to take care of them, who's going to make that sacrifice and who's going to help in that sacrifice? I know of someone whose uh, parent is ill and this person, I love that all of their siblings take turns going down there to see their parents spending a week or two. They just rotate. Because we know life goes on, you have to work up until the last crucial moment. And people do have families and lives. But the fact that they're doing it, I hate to say, it's rare that, it's rare. Like, I, I can't even remember when I've ever heard that all the siblings helped. I hope this definitely helps someone. You guys, if you want more videos like this and more conversation, please look in the comments. We can talk about these things and we can help each other because being a caregiver of a parent is very, very difficult. It is stressful because not only do you have to care for them, but you have to integrate it into your lives, especially if you're not retired and you're still working and then have to take care of your parents. Or if you're like Kay Sandra, who actually had to make a sacrifice and relocate state. So prayers out out to anyone who is being a caregiver of their parents or who's taking care help taking care of their parents um just know that you are being blessed